Hey everyone, Josh from speedclimbing.com here. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and please check out speedclimbing.com for training articles and reviews for the latest speed climbing competitions. In our previous video, we did a really simple breakdown between Vedric Leonardo and Caramel Catabin's finals race. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Since there aren't any IFSC speed competitions for a few weeks, I figured we'd create our own. Today, we will take a look back at the world record from Reza Alapershina and put him head to head versus the new world record. Left, pass my way on the right. Both explode out of the blocks. Bass had a small lead, but it looks like Reza has just about reined him in and he takes it. For the last few years, Reza has been the top name in speed climbing. Dubbed the Persian Cheetah, his record held for the last four years, and it was little wonder why. Compared to many of his competitors, Reza has a distinctly more muscular body type, which is proof that he trained much differently than a typical climber. With his 5.48 climb fresh in our heads, let's see how that race stacks up against the new record. Going head to head, you can instantly see the difference between their starting styles. Reza starts with one hand on each hold, where Vedric keeps them both on the lowest hold. This overextends Reza, but allows Vedric to do a timed swing start. Reza's still start and overextension translates into much less momentum, and Leonardo is a full head ahead of Reza by the time they reach the first hold. As they progress up the wall, you can see that Leonardo also has a more refined beta. Take a look at the smear steps from both athletes, and you will see that Leonardo hits holds more often, giving him a distinct advantage for efficiently applying vertical force. Now let's take away some of that momentum from the time start. With the two now head to head, it is a much closer race. Even after removing the better start, the lack of smear steps and years to analyze and refine the beta has given Leonardo the advantage. With more competitions just around the corner, do you think Reza will adapt his beta and take back his record? Or is this the age of the Indonesian speed climbers? Leave a comment below with your thoughts.